Uh, welcome to con the conversation to bridge the gap, you know. Taekwon right here from Zoo Kings, Mighty Zoo Kings, Ray Rock. And mm -hmm. I got my man Kid Glide, Dynamic Rockers, Hip Hop Royalty right there, man. You know? <laughs> What's poppin', G? Hey, man. Just had a long day. I'm happy I'm home. I'm saying I got blood for me. No doubt. Yo, shouts to everybody. Let's join, you know what I mean? Um, What's up, everybody? We here, we here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah, and, and shout out to everybody that's going to be watching this, right? So, 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 Kick Light, I, I want to talk to you about, first, you know, just introduce yourself, you know what I mean? Don't get into the detail, because we only have, like, you know, an hour or so. But, you know, to brush up on how you came up and how you got into breaking and all that. So, you know... Platform's yours, bro. All right, yeah. So, again, my name's Kid Glide. Um, president of Dynamic Rockers. Our crew's been around since 1979. My father was a leader, but he wasn't the founder. Um, he was into that at the time. But um, um, I do, uh, what you call it, Kids Breaking League out here in New York. Um, basically, we have a bunch of different dance um, programs or schools, and they compete against each other, just like a sports league. And then, um, mm -hmm. you know, you might know me from Rep Your Style. I've, I've done a lot of things with um, them as far as, uh, you know, getting different styles to battle each other and, you know, just keep the, the street dance culture united and, and, you know, and, and you know what I'm saying? Because sometimes you get you get into a block and, you, you know, if you see another you know, dance style, it might open up, you know, some, like, things you never thought of, you know what I'm saying? So that I like to do that. I like to look at other dance styles because sometimes you might hear, hit a brick wall. But you know, yeah, I just, exactly. I just, I just live it. Life, man, is all I do. I'm opening up a dance studio, KBL Studios, coming next month. So be on the lookout. For that. I'm saying, so yeah, man. Well, just congratulations, right there, man. It's on the grind, man. Doing it for the for our dance, man. If we don't do it, someone else will. <laughs> for real. Exactly. You know, you set yourself up nicely. You know. Um. So when when do you go into breaking though? Like what age? What were you? Were you the, your 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 pops? You know, always is taught you or what <laughs> i mean my dad i mean he didn't start teaching me until i was like 12 13. like oh, wow. i would try to, I just, when i would see him when i was little i would try to pretend i was doing it like roaming around you know just he didn't really teach me anything but um i don't know he, he didn't really like until i moved in with him at the age of like 11 like 12 13 that's when i started doing it but I, like i wasn't serious about it until like i started seeing that like oh snap i can do this you know like i'm i I don't know if it was a natural talent, but I was picking up stuff quick. And, uh, you know, I just kept practicing and practicing. And, you know, I was a shy kid. And, you know, I was able to relate with people. You know, I was that breaker because I lived in, like, when I lived with my father, uh, I came from Queens and, and um, I went into Long Island. So, like, mm. I was the breaker, right? The break dancer. So the only yeah, yeah, break yeah. That was, like, popular, you know, through that. So, <laughs> that's, but, that's dope. Yeah, if, if, you know, shouts to everybody's tuned in again, and shouts to everybody's watching this. For you, for y'all that don't know, you know, Kid Glide's pops name's Glide. You know what I mean? From Dynamic Rockets. Y'all should do some research. I'm just gonna keep it at that. You know, so you know, with Google nowadays, YouTube, <laughs> go ahead and 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 pay your homage, man. You got, you know, go to New York. All, all the OGs still alive, man. Build with them. Reach out to Kick Glide, you know what I'm yeah. saying? And Kick Glide can be that ambassador for y'all and just show y'all around and all that. So, you know, reach out. Always, always reach out, man. So, yeah, as far as, um, as far as Dynamic Rockers go, so, um, you the president, if, if, uh, is there anything that's, you know, that's, that y'all have going, like, mission-wise or, or oh, work? Yeah, yeah. As far as our mission, like, um, well, I know when when I when I became a leader. I mean, I recently, like two years ago, um, our mission basically is to change the world through through, um, through dance. That's it. Mm. Um, so right now we we have like anti bully assemblies. We do, um, you know, That's we know a lot of kids. You know, what I'm saying like, um, we just use the dance to help people. That's it. You know, and make their lives better. If anything. You know what I'm saying? Right. It used to be just breaking. You know, now, you know, we have poppers, we have you know, house dancers, hip-hop dancers that work. Right, right, right. I mean, we have a breaking crew, but, you know, like, 
you know, back then they used to have poppers with the crew. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah. Of course. So it's not, it's nothing different. So yeah, and 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 you 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 can dance other styles as well, right? <laughs> You know, it's not just breaking. <laughs> I mean, I you know? a little something, something here. <laughs> but, well, you know, I see some videos. I love breaking, man. <laughs> I see some videos of Ness. I think Ness posted it. Actually, Ness and your pops been going clubbing lately. Yeah, I was like, hold up. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I was fortunate to have Ness um, judge the KPL the other day. And he was like, and I was talking to him. He was like, yo, next time I go to Funk Box, you better be there. I was like, my bad. Well, <laughs> they been clubbing, though. You see that, right? Yeah, I was like, hold up, man. <laughs> Yo, pop in there, like, grooving. I was like, yeah, see, that's a b-boy right there. <laughs> you know? That's my pop's more than me. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I know, right? Shouts to the old head. <laughs> cool, but man, that the OGs can still get along like that, man, especially our two crews, you know what I'm saying? Like, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, exactly, man. I mean, there's there's a leanage, you know what I'm saying, when it comes to... Zulu Kings and Dying Rockers. Coming up with Dying Rockers in the 80s, y'all was more rivals with the Rocksteady, right? Uh, there was like a big rival. And, you know, when we were coming up in two, early 2000, uh, we were kind of going at it, right? Like the Dying Rockers. We were going at it. Like you and Phantom go at it all the time and all that. So, and at the end of the day, that's, that's why I'm trying to show, you know, people like, Yo, y'all can be competitive, y'all can be rivals and stuff, but there's always a time and place for everything, you know what I mean? And I think for our generation, Kick Lie, like we gotta be, we gotta show and prove, you know, like we got we gotta show and prove that we can work together and be competitive at the same time on the dance floor. Like, you know, if if just say our crew meet up on the dance floor, I'm sure it's gonna be like, yo, let's get it in. You know what I mean? But like, then, oh, but then, right <laughs> yeah, but but then we always build, like we always um, you know, get at each other and all that. And so that's what we gotta do, because I feel like, you know, with you know, what's going on in the scene right now, there's a lot of division and stuff and you know, it's it's not good for the new generation, you know what I'm saying? And especially somebody like you, bro, like you really building like the kids breaking league. So can you tell us more how that came about? Um, it's funny, man. My boy, uh, Indio, he's from the Bronx. He was teaching kids for a minute. He was trying to get me to teach kids. I was like, man, I don't deal with kids. Because I was teaching at dance studios, right? And you mm -hmm. know how it is with dance studios. They have a recital. They're not, the kids are not serious. They're Because they want to dance with a recital. They don't even want to be at. You know what I'm saying? But um, we, he, we just came up with the idea. The crew and I were like, yo, let's get our kids to battle each other. You know what I'm saying? Mm. So we did it one time small, not a lot of people came, right? And it was like, all right, it was cool. And then we got, but it was far. It was in Staten Island, so it was hard for people to get there. So once we did it in Manhattan, yo, it was crazy. That was the first time we saw the kids break clean. We just saw mad right. kids. But, yo, know, type one, the craziest part was the parents. The parents were like, they were all in. And I was like, we we're all like, because everybody's like, my, my dad and mom never came to my stuff. You know what I'm saying? Sorry, mm. my, my kids. Right, right. <laughs> right, right. So, that after we saw that, we saw how like devoted the parents were. We was like, yo, we kept doing it. First, we were gonna just like we were doing it as a crew thing, but then we saw the dance studios wanted to be a part of it, and I was just like, why don't we just get everybody else involved? And then we did it little by little. You know, like, shout out to my boy Jay Serious, one of the first. He came from Brooklyn. He saying, what up? Thumbs up. He he, he has a squad. His squad is dope. They won the Kids Breaking League Advanced category on Sunday. Um, Brooklyn okay. Breaking. League. They're doing things. You know what I'm saying so. Um, yeah, man, just little by little, we started getting all these teams, and it's crazy. Like, these kids, there's, everybody's teaching kids, everybody. But it's not, there's nothing catered for the kids, right? So the parents, they come to our jams, and it's not kid-friendly, yo, for real. Eight hours? Come on, man. <laughs> and then, you know, the DJs are playing whatever. The B-boys are acting whatever. Then they, you see them beefing, you know, the parents don't want to be around that. Mm -hmm. But if you have an event that's two, three hours catered for the kids, in and out, yo, Yo, they love it, and that's what we do. We have we set up a schedule for each team. You know, we have we have like 15, 16 teams, and then you know for the for the whole season they go to different dance studios. You know, that's like the main event. This studio versus that studio, right? My, like dynamic oh, kids. Word. Okay. Like, that's the main event. Dynamic kids versus Bro Brooklyn Breaking. But then we have mm -hmm. side events so that everybody else could come and battle because you know everybody just wants to battle, right? So we mm -hmm. have them other kids are battling one on one, two on two, whatever. And then the main event is boom, 
the studio, right? Because the, the battle's at a studio. So those people that, that support the studio are there, that's the home team. And then the away team comes in the battles. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, but it, it is, I mean, it's, it's still our, like how we do things, like a battle, you know what I'm saying? But, you know, it's just, it's just more organized, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, and yeah. It's crazy, yo. Like, we have rankings. You go to the website, people from first place, second, whatever, last, whatever. We have number three points and all that. So, and the kids love it. Yeah, and I don't think people are, like, hip to that. You know, I think people need to know more about kids breaking league. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, well, there's other leagues out there, yo. Like, for real. Like, I started, like, Jeromeski's doing some. Like, I went, we went to Seattle for Massive Monkeys. There was a Houston team. There was a Portland team. No, Portland or a DeBay. And then there was a Seattle, Seattle and our team. Seattle won. You know, it was in Seattle. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> yo, but, like, I saw these kids and, I thought my kids were going to come in, and I was like, oh, it wasn't easy. I was like, oh, snap. Mm -hmm. like, good kids out there. So, like, yeah. we need to unite. Yeah. Well, for real, there's yeah, many exactly. kids. I think, I think and, that, and that's the whole point, right? I feel like there's, there's like, pieces all over the place, right? And we, we're creating those pieces, right? And I yeah. feel like all the, all the heads, you know, the heavy headers within the scene that's, that's building and all that, that's down to build and stuff, you need, you need to get together and, like, put the pieces together right mm -hmm. so you're doing your league drone skis doing that league i'm sure somebody else is doing that league that we don't know about so but put everything together you know what i'm saying and create like one big league like a kids breaking league like nationally right so the champ from your you know and then and then from jerome ski and then you go to the championship so I mean, that's the thing. We just got, you know, you got to hit up, you know, Jerome Ski and maybe other people and just like, yo, let's let's put something together, you know? So I, I think that's that's very dope, man, what, what you're doing is developing the next generation for USA as well, right? Um, it's important, man. Those kids out there in Europe, Asia, killing oh, it. Killing got, it. I, I, there's like a league in um, the Netherlands, I think, or mm. something like that, Holland. And uh, NBL song, I forgot what it was called. Those kids are crazy, man. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And I think that's what we need to do because I feel like, you know, the USA scene, we, we kind of like focus on the youth, right? Mm -hmm. uh, and so I really think we, we, we need, you know, us like you, you know, and, and honestly, to, to more support, right? And so I always been like, well, kids breaking league. And, and that's why I wanted you to. You know, on just to talk about it, right? And honestly, you know, after this, we can talk about having, you know, do the all access. You know what I'm saying? To where you can go there, do the all access, and just, you know, be, be sure. there. Right? And so we, we can build more on that. But, um, but yeah, bro, like, can regular, so how's the format though? Is it one on one, two on two, or what? All right, so we do, um, if you go to the website, we have rankings, and it's one-on-ones. We have three different divisions, beginner, intermediate, and advanced. Um, um, we kind of, to, to separate them, the like the other coaches, we kind of came up with an, uh, a way to come up with that. And it's not, like, official. It's not written down. I mean, it is, it is written down, but it's not, like, so structured. But, like, it's pretty simple. I think so, because, I mean, you can tell who's a beginner, who's, who's intermediate. Right, so I mean, we all figured like, all right, this is what it is. So mm -hmm. intermediate is basically someone that knows how to break, right? They know mm -hmm. how to put the elements together, whatever. The beginner is kind of like someone still trying to figure that out, right? Right, and right. It's, it's basically you being, you know, taking it to the next level, and that's that. You know, like you have, like you, you can't be, you know, you, you know how to do it, but at, at a advanced level, right? So I mean, right, we right. did write it down in certain numbers and whatever to figure that out. And it kind of works because, like, our events, we're like, oh, okay, boom, boom. Some kids, they, they get quick. They, get like, quickly become good, you know. So sometimes we have to, like, evaluate them. So what we did this year, because last year we just we just said, all right, we just let the coaches aside. But this time we had, like, an evaluation event. And we had, like, four circles, the top rock, footwork, power movement. And then we just evaluated on all of them hmm. from one to five or whatever the case is. And then... And then we, we averaged the numbers and it kind of worked. It worked, yo. Like everybody was pretty much where, where they needed to be. And, um, yeah, that's how we did it. And then we have the crews. So if you're, if you're like individually, if you're a beginner and then you, if you have like two or more people in your, in your school, 
And right. you have a beginner team. So there's beginner teams, intermediate teams, advanced teams, right? So, right. but we don't we don't say like you need five. It's just crew versus crew. Some crews have two, some have eight. <laughs> you know? Oh, but, like, so I mean, right now, I mean, we're just trying to push the crew thing, right? We're not trying to say because you know sometimes so, we do three on three people trying to make all star team. We just say no, nah, crew versus crew. And that's that. So so it's crew on crew right now, and and is that max? Um, not yet. Like the the the, the biggest team is like ten kids, but like. Mm. Well, you know what? Crew, the crew, is the crew is, that's good that you're doing crew on crew, right? It's going gonna, gonna to teach them, um, like, like skill set as a team member, right? Working with one another, having that chemistry in a battle. You know what I'm saying? Because I feel like if you, you just focus on one-on-one, it's, it's, you're never going to build them with the skill set of, of, of team, team building, right? Being a team, part of the team is very important. So part of being a crew, you know? So that's, that's, that's dope that you, uh, doing that, man. So it's crew on crew. And so ranking wise, like, so there's stats. I mean, it, does this happen every week or? Yo. Yeah, pretty much. We have that many teams where we have an event every week. Um, and you're not, you're not, you don't have to go to every event, but like every event you go to, like you get points, but like the, the easiest way to get a point is just, being there, right? To me, hip hop is about representing, right? Right, right, right? As long as you represent, you get a point. You know, if you win, if you advance, you get another point. You win the whole jam, you get more points. You know what I'm saying? So, um, so that, I mean, that's kind of how we do it. We, it's not too crazy. It's pretty simple. I mean, I can I can send you the uh, the format of the point system if you want. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's yeah, yeah. That's that's no. So, I mean, we trying to just make it, you know, more legitimized. Because, you know, parents ask a lot of questions. And, you know, we want them to feel comfortable and to be a part of what we're doing. I'm saying to us, they just be like, they're confusing. Like, why am I even here? You know, but now they want to be involved, you know. And even if it didn't have anything, like, they're just excited because their kids are, like, so into it. You know what I'm saying? So. Right, right. And and these are parents that's not even part of the breaking community right they just like oh my kids like it they just can't support yo some kids yo like the parents will travel from long island to new jersey long island to connecticut what? yo like but they'll do it every week just because their kid wants to battle and get points that's it and that yo for real like that's what we used to do <laughs> yeah, of course you know yeah just paying dues that's what we call in hip-hop right <laughs> paying dues <laughs> you know, dudes, right yo that's kids, that's dope Yo, like that that that's what pushes me to keep making this happen, you know what I'm saying? And and just, you know, having the community, yo, like the community loves it. You know, when I first put it out there, I was a little scared. Like I hit up certain people like, yo, you think you have your teeth like and I hit up all the heavy hitters, you know, and a lot of them were like, Yeah, I don't know about that. But then there was other people that were teaching, you know, like I got that like J series I mentioned earlier. He has a squad, yo, like a lot of squads out there. And they're just like about it, right? Because it's either they do that or they'll just do recitals and competitions. But they, you tell them they have a, a league for just breaking. They're like, what? Mm. These kids can't make. Like it's hard for them to make top sixteen or top eight in the battle. Or, you know? Of course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's so. Wait, is this happen only in New York or what? We, we, right now we have Connecticut, New York, New Jersey. Um, we're trying to get in something in Pennsylvania. Oh, Massachusetts. Um, okay. you know what I'm saying? Like right now, you know, I mean, I was trying to spread out too fast. I need to slow it down a little bit because, <laughs> you know, we got to make sure it's like, tight. You know what I'm saying? Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, I like, I like making things happen. So like I get excited, but there's a lot of kids in New York, so I'm good here. So how many crews currently right now in the breaking, kids breaking league, you know? Um, there, there's, there's like 16 different schools and then there's the, you know, like, again, there's different, um, divisions, you know, mm. so there's different teams in those divisions, you know, but, uh, I think that the, what I'm going to do this year is this thing that kind of like a battle of your con concept with the kids. Cause like they already do recitals. So I was thinking of doing something like that and trying to, you know, try to make something international where, people, you know, kids, cause it's crazy out there, man. These kids, you know, oh, man. you're Asia, Japan. <laughs> yeah, I know I, 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 you know we we gotta be real. Like they killing us. The, yeah, their youth yeah. is killing our. You know what I'm saying? Like 
for the future, like, dang, they, they way ahead of us, you know? And so, and that's what it is. I feel like we just focus on this, that, and the third, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. um, beefing with each other and this and that while other people really focus on, you know, developing the next generation, you know? And so that's very dope of you taking that initiative to to even start something and, and getting some, you know, starting kids bring Taking league and uh, yeah. like you said, Jerome Ski, and, and that's the thing. I think people like yourself, Jerome Ski, with all these little with this league. I'll call it low league. I came from a football background, you know what I'm saying? So low league, you know what I'm saying? Pee wee. It's fine. So it's it always call these, you know, little league or pee wee. You know, like mm-hmm. like we should focus on that more. We should push that more. You know what I'm saying? And mm-hmm. and I think a lot of heavy hitters should be pushing that as well, right? Support. Um, even promoters, what have you, you know? So uh, if you're really about, you know, developing the next generation, it's like, yo, then, then help support, you know? So, and that's the thing. I didn't even know about Jeromsky, John, until just now, you know? And yeah, goes, Kids, man. He does, he does it like, he does, from what he told me, he does like events like every three months or something like that, which leads to a final event. That's kind of what I did in the beginning. But like, he said he, he began like 200 students. Wow, I gotta get him on there then. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Just like talk to him about this. More kids were crazy, or they were dope, man. I was, I mean, I'm not surprised. I was like, why am I surprised? He's a dope. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> now just imagine if Cali's doing it, Texas doing it. Vegas got some crazy uh, knuckleheads, yo. They got some crazy. Oh, like crazy. So that's all. That's all you need. Seattle, California, Texas, somebody from Midwest, Las Vegas. Maybe somebody from Southeast. Mm-hmm. You, you got the Northeast. There it is. That's like a, you know what I'm saying? Like regional. And y'all can put everything together. You know what I'm saying? All the main dudes from those little regions can come together and, and yeah. just start stomping. What's his name? Task? He has some kids, man. Yeah, man, it's everywhere. Like you said, yeah, yeah. you got to get together. I'm, I'm down for it, man. I'm with it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah that's, man, that's... Yeah, basically, it's got to build some type of infrastructure, you know, and mm-hmm. and I know, you know, when it comes to the the heavy hitting, that's UDEF, right? Like, that's that was the goal of UDEF. And, you know, speaking of Steve, you know what I'm saying? That that was his initiative was, yo, uh, build infrastructure for the heavy hitters. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, uh, some type of ecosystem for us to 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 go you know and, and and perform and battle you know what I'm saying and so other people from outside of our community can come in like whoa what's going on here you know what I'm saying so but yeah follow that same format bro like you should get up you know with Jeromsky and put you know everything together and and you never know one thing leads to another you know but, yeah, but that's, yeah. Once it yeah. happened, I was like, Jeromsky, you need, I'm going to do it in New York. I'm going to invite you guys. We should mm. do it in New York City, you know what I'm saying? Because like, he called it Rep Your City, Youth Battle, which mm. is cool. You know, so I think that's a start, you know what I'm saying? Mm. And, but like you said, we should have everybody have their own leagues, which leads into a fun league, you know what I'm saying? And yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe every year do it in a different city, you know what I'm saying? Like, right. Kind of yeah. I think, I think that would be great for our future generation. You know what I'm saying? And, mm-hmm. and man, just imagine, to say, kid, what's the max? So what's the maximum age for for not being in kids breaking league? <laughs> you can't, I mean, you can't be 18 years old and be in it, right? I think, I think once you're out of high school, you, you know, you, you're good. Oh, okay. Yeah, it works. So that's funny the- thing. Yo, because we went to uh, Seattle, and all my kids are, like, like eight to like, I mean, I have a six, one 16 year old, but they're all like 12, 13. And then everybody else is like 15, 16, 17, 18. <laughs> we were like, oh, we're a grown man, but we just hanging though. <laughs> hey, but in, in a couple of years, you know what I'm saying? They'll yeah. be, they'll be heavy head in, in the kids breaking the league. And that's always like that, right? <laughs> it's just like a pro NBA, right? Right now, LeBron, he's in that Lakers. He got like all the young bucks, you know what I'm saying? So he ain't winning. <laughs> So so now you got to develop them like yo I, I gotta get some some people on my squad so but yeah man that's that's pretty dope so once you're out of high school you can't be part of that kids breaking league so basically you kind of graduate right <laughs> well you go to college to the, the college league you know what I'm saying so 
Yo, that's dope. Like the, you get a scholarship to college. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that'd be dope to have a kids breaking league, and then you go to college league, and then you get drafted to the pro league. <laughs> that'd be hot, man. Why not? Yo, if we could like all come together and build that infrastructure, bro, that's next level. Like especially for the USA team. You know, same scene, like, and that kind of like help, kind of push, like, yo, you gotta go to college, bro. <laughs> you know, it just gotta level up on everything, you know, like go to college. You have to get good grades and all good that. Good grades, you know, just like just like every other, you know, discipline, you know. So that's dope. Like kids break it league, go to college. After that, like you know, the pro breaking tour, like. Mm. <laughs> Which one is we uh, draft? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, yo, and more and more, that'd be dope, bro. <laughs> but yeah, that that that's something that you know we should bring up to to the to the UDEF squad too. You know what I'm saying? Like, sure. that'd be dope. That, that'd be a dope infrastructure. But who knows? You know what I mean? But what, what what's what happened and all that? Which is very unfortunate. You know what I'm saying? In our scene, that is. Man, that's crazy what happened, man. Um, yeah, I know a lot. A lot of people was like, "What?" But I mean, we gonna be all right, man. We yeah, gonna, we gonna be all right. We gonna be, we gonna be all right. I mean, I ain't going nowhere. I know you ain't going nowhere. Yeah, we we we're gonna keep we're gonna keep doing this. Yo, shout again, shout out to everybody that's that's joining the joint, and of course, I'm gonna share this. A shout out to everybody that's watching this later on. I got Kid Glad, the name of Rockers, the Prez, you know, holding it down, hip hop royalty, you know what I mean? So we're talking about Kids Breaking League, how he came about with that whole joint, and they're doing good things out in the Northeast right now, um, mm-hmm. developing the next generation. Um, and, you know, Kid Glad informed me about Jerome Ski having a you know, league and hopefully other people have their own and yeah. just, you know, organize, co- you know, a team of squad and just battle each other, man. <laughs> Start some rivalry, bro. Like competitive, you know, like, oh, we're going to see you, Seattle. We're going to see you. <laughs> <laughs> now we're back. But now we're back. I, I set up a nonprofit for the uh, called KBL Foundation. And like, mm-hmm. I mean, right now I already traveled to Portugal and we went to Seattle with my kids. And that's that's my goal is to like just travel with my kids, my students, and, and not not just my my team, but like the other teams in the kids breaking league. You know what I'm saying? Like, cause we already have imagine sixteen sixteen teams traveling around the world represent the Northeast. You know what I'm saying? Like, if everybody did that, if if all of us did that, yo, you know how crazy our scene would be. If we were traveling with our students because we did it on our on the strength, but we mm-hmm. built like found you know foundations and get money from. The, no mm-hmm. grants and all that, like which which people would do. You know what I'm saying, like, mm-hmm. but, I mean, the parents are are already doing it anyways out of their pocket. You know what I'm saying. So now, if I could get kids that are less fortunate, you know what I'm saying, because I, you know, I teach kids that don't, that can't afford it. We're not. You know what I'm saying. Like this this dance was given to me. You know what I'm saying. Well, how am I gonna not give it back to to you know to other people, you know, especially those that that created the dance? You know what I'm saying. So, of course, shouts to the OGs. You know what I'm saying to the elders. You know, sometimes they can. You know, get out their feelings, you know what I'm saying? But at the end of the day, like, without them, there would be no us. You know what I mean? Like, let's just be honest here, you know? It's like a it's like a family in a way, right? And so, you know, sometimes you don't agree with everything, but, you know, it, it comes down with, you know, that you got to honor, you know, each other. You know what I mean? But, and and always reach out. You know, like, like, if an OG act some way, then sometimes you just gotta reach out to him, like, yo, you good? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, something's wrong? Like, yo, you, you know, like, maybe there's something wrong in his life. You never know. You know what I'm saying? Like, you never know, bro. <laughs> sometimes they just wanna be heard, man. That, they just wanna talk. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I feel that way too. You know, I feel like sometimes. They did so much, right? Like, for real, we do. I mean, that's just looking ourselves in the mirror as a scene, right? So I always do that. Like, I always like, okay, assessment. How are we doing as a scene? I'm like, dang, there's a lot of animosity. There's a lot of dissent at third. You know really? what? Let me, let me, 
You see yeah, a lot of that? I see a lot of that between, you know, um, certain heads, you know, with with our, you know, how, how everything's going, right? Certain people don't like the judge system. Certain people, you know, just just a lot of just like, I don't know if you've seen it, but I see it. You yeah, know, with the whole, I with that, just... I, I just been trying to build this, man. Like, I try to stay out of the internet because, like, yo, you can get consumed in there. You be like, oh, what he's saying? Then you want to talk? Yeah, 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 yeah. See, I don't get. I don't I get, get stuff. I don't do that because once I once I get in, I'm in it. <laughs> mm. <You know? laughs> Where? I guess since I gotta stay tuned, man, because I see some things here and there. Like, I know when Steve and that whole thing happened. Like, you know, a lot of people were like, oh my god, oh my god, you know. But yeah, I don't think. I mean, he's gone. But the UDF ain't gone, you know what I'm saying? Like he, yeah. he, set, he set up something for us, and yep. maybe, maybe we just maybe we got to baby too much and we didn't take charge. But now we have to take charge, you know what I'm saying? Maybe this is a blessing in disguise, you know what I'm saying? Because mm-hmm. the UDF ain't going nowhere. You know, I'm a part of it. So mm-hmm. I mean, as much as we can do, right now we need to do it all. We need to do our parts. I know in New York, you know what I'm saying? I met up with the, the heavy hitters out here, but not everybody, but like just to, select, just to start with a select few and we're working together already. You know what I'm saying? Like we're, we're going to try to build something here. Even if, if it's something that works here, I'm sure if, if it works, maybe the rest of the world will follow. If not, whatever. As long as something, we're doing something. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah, yeah, yeah. Just, just build, like standardize certain things, right? Even if it's just like an event or something. So I feel like... Cause nice, right? man, that's it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I feel like I feel like kids breaking league. Those type of you know um, platforms, right? Mm-hmm. And I feel like what you're doing is great because you focus on the next generation. So just think of future, right? So the next four or five years, how's the USA scenes going to be? You know what I mean? And I feel like those youth going to be coming up with skills that's going to be like, whoa, hold up, what's going on here? Dang, there's a lot of talent in the U.S. now. You know what I mean? Um, and so I, I really feel we need to focus on the youth, man. <laughs> and that's and that's the answer. And so that's the whole point of this. Is like I feel like kids breaking league, Jeromeski's league, young young league, and whoever it is like I feel like we should talk more about those, push it more, you know, and and be a supporter of of those league, you know. So um, as far as you, Def. Um, yeah, you 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 know you you I, like earlier you said you working you know with certain heads in New York and stuff trying to build something. Um, yeah, let me know, man. Like I'm down to you know, you know me. Like I'm I'm down to always build and all that, mm-hmm. being being part of things, giving my advice, feedback, what have you. But okay. um, but yeah, man. I mean, I know in Florida, I'm I'm in Florida right now and. And Shaolin Production, they're doing good things with the with the new generation. Uh, when I say new generation, I'm not talking about youth-wise, like the new generation of, you know, catches that start getting in the game. And, and, and so they have this thing, uh, a little, little uh, platform that it, they have, you know. And, and this is for all the new generation to battle against each other. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And, and that's something that Mix One started. Uh, it's called oh, Breaking yeah. International. Breaking International. Breaking International. Yeah. International. You know what I'm saying? Uh, RP to to the brother. Um, yes. But then, but then, Shalom Production. You know, Natty and all them. Um, they they kind of want to resurrect that and then build the next generation in Florida. And so they they start doing little thing here and there and breaking international. You know, just mm-hmm. to just to build develop skills and all that for for the new generation of b-boys so they can be dope you know and so uh that's going well you know so i think i think you know and and of course i think moy he's doing his thing with uh monster out there he had like what's called break free night or something it's like a one-on-one you know and and so he, he's doing on a local level right and so he he's building that as well so it's not like the USA scene's dead, you know, or something. It's like, we're still doing it. <laughs> you know what I mean? But it's but just not publicized. It's not like nobody really knows. Like, only, you only know if you're there. You know what I'm saying? And I feel like, and I feel like UDEF should, should start, have a website, right? To have, to, to basically promote these, 
little thing because that's what UW should be about, right? The infrastructure to showcase what we're what what we have in the scene. Mm. You, you know what I'm trying to say? So it can be a, a main platform so everybody can go to to get information or resources, right? And, and so that's that's my thing. I feel like UW should be leading the way in. Okay, what's going on in New York right now? Boom. Go on UDEV website. There should be a section of this kids breaking league and all all the information that you just told me. You know, mm-hmm. people can yeah. can go on and start and support and Instagram. You know, page that's on there. Same thing with breaking international. That's in Florida. Mm-hmm. You you guys probably don't know. People from Texas or Seattle probably don't know what's going on in Florida, right? With breaking international, right? But everybody can go on UDEV platform, right? And be like, oh, okay, they're doing something in, in, in Florida with breaking international. So that's what I'm saying. Like, I feel like you that should be that platform. Kind of like you know freestyle I mean? session was, right? Or, or... Right, how freestyle session was. Like everybody just go there to get information, to just even talk. Honestly, I feel like you that should create an app. Like you that mm-hmm. like for me, I'm just building with you here. You know what I'm saying? And mm-hmm. and I would say the same thing to Cross or anybody. Like, yo, build an app, you know what I'm saying? And everybody just download that joint just to get information. Like, okay, what's even practice spot? You know what I'm trying to say? Like, just imagine just a platform of just everybody just going on there. Like Facebook, we all on there, but but everything is is not if 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 I don't tag you to it, you wouldn't know. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like this and that. So I feel like well, breaking, especially US, USA scene, if, if we have a platform, even worldwide too, right? It can be worldwide. You def can be a worldwide thing. But I think, you know, at first, it's, it's USA. We got to get our stuff together first. So, yeah, you def. Well, maybe have like different moderators in different areas. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like moderators and, you know, posting information. Information that's is very cool. crucial, bro. You know, I feel like it's right now, information is all over the place, right? And again, it's like, there's a big puzzle and we have like little pieces, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Doing their own thing. We just need to unite under one and people can see like, oh, that's what's going on. There's a whole infrastructure, you know, that's out there and we didn't even know about. You know what I'm trying to say? So if everybody can go under UDEF just to get information and stuff, like, Wow, that's dope. I think that's what Steve was trying to do with Pro Breaking Tour, right? Like, as, uh, you want to know what's, what event? You go on that UDEF site, you know, you you see all the events, right? The Pro Breaking Tour. But I think we need to expand it to more of, you know, of the little stuff too, right? Mm-hmm. Community-wise. Like, Kids, Kids Breaking League, Jerome Ski League, uh, Breaking International, whoever that's building, you know, share the information on this platform. You know what I'm trying to say? So I think I think that's something that, you know, um, I think, you know, that, that would be a great thing just to get everybody on UDES platform, you know? Not, that That's important because like, especially now, like, breaking is everywhere. World of Dance, America's Got the Talent. Like, now everybody's talking about the Olympics. Like, it's everywhere, man. Like, commercials. Like if you're if you have a dance team, you gotta have some breakers in there. So like, it's getting exposed, and I'm sure all these people that are even in the community are like, where do I find this? You know? So you're yeah, right. Yeah. And and even with the Olympics, like, like as UDEF, you know, since we're all under it, you know what I mean? Put out uh, a formal public, you know what I mean? Like, yo, we're now official in the Olympics, you know? And so, I don't know. And then people. People like you or myself or whoever, all the heavyweights can give our thoughts. And all, all of our thoughts can be posted on this UDEF platform. You know what I'm trying to say? So people can can know what we're, you know, what our opinion is about and this, that, and third. So I feel like there should there should be like a platform that we should all unite under. And of course, you know, UDEF is already in the process, right? So why not? Right? And and so but I think it, it need to step up a little bit with the information out there of, of man, I want to know about Kids Breaking League. You know? Yeah. Somebody right now in Las Vegas probably don't know, but they know they know about UDEF. You get what I'm trying to say? Yeah. So if they go on UDEF, oh, crap. 
Kids breaking league. What's going on here? Okay, let me check it out. You know what I mean? So I think, I just think that's just an idea. I think that would be very, uh, an added value, you know, for, for yeah. so, but yeah, man, um, as far as kids breaking league go, what, what's next? Like, is there like a championship, um, round uh, tournament? We stop? Do, well, we had KBL champs, um, this Sunday. Um, okay. like I said, um, Ness was able to judge it, man. I was a blessing. I was happy that these kids got to see such a pioneer mm -hmm. legend. You know, yeah. even the coaches were excited. You know what I'm saying? Like, yo, you got Ness come. He behaved, right? He behaved, right? <laughs> <laughs> nah. but, but yeah, man, it was so every every like at the end of the season we have KBL champs. We have like depending on how many kids we have on each each division. Like like the beginners, we had top 16, top eight crews, intermediate, same thing. Advanced was a little, you know, we don't have too many advanced, so we had like top eight. You know, some tiebreakers for like, you know, the f last two spots and then, you know, four crews. But, um, mm. yeah, man, we do that every year. But now we're going to do like off season. So I have a summer intensive I'm going to do in my studio. Um, probably have some events, you know, just for the kids to like stay, you know, active or whatever the case is. But, you know, you know, some kids go away, but some kids, they just want to break. I'm telling you, just like how we used to want, want to just break all the time. That's all they want to do. But, um, but yeah, man, I'm, I'm just, right now, I'm just trying to, set the schedule for next season so mm. last last season the winner of kids breaking league was able to battle in the silverback event right oh last no this season. well this season this season that we were like since silverback was able to you know they sponsored thank you so much for that um mm. they, they, they they you know they they, they you know gave some funding for the, the whole season but then um they like a part like a, a good part of it was for like the top six to eight kids from the KBL. We're going to go to like, be the Silverback KBL or kid, mm -hmm. KBL Silverback or whatever. We, we didn't have a name yet, but they were going to go to Silverback all expense paid and represent, you know, at the kids battle. There, you, know. you know, Silverback now. So we got to do something That's else. Crazy, man. I know, man. I know. I'm but... just tight because like cats, <laughs> cats is so in intertwined with their pride and ego that they just don't think about Man, there's a lot of youth, bro. Like, it's, it's whatever, man. It's crazy. It's just, you know, like, that's a platform for us, you know, like, man, for real. For it us to do that again, you know, you remember going to that? That was, it was an official event, man. That was a, that event used to be fun. It was like going to IBE or something like that. We saw everybody and their mother. <laughs> and as far as KBO, um, who was, who was the kid that battled in Silverback last year? He he was oh. part of the breaking league, right? Yeah, yeah. He, he's actually in my 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 crew, Dynamic Kids. His name is uh, Kid Dynamo. Kid, Kid, Kid. Nasty, Kid, right? Yeah. yeah. Now he got even crazier, man. But Woo. <laughs> but not, a lot of other kids stepped up, man. Like this mm -hmm. year, the kid Hex, he he won the whole thing. He he's sixteen, but he, yo, he's mad tall, but he, he he's dope. Like, you, a lot of these kids, man, you'd be surprised, man. Man, I'm excited to see him, you know what I mean, in action and all that. And I was see, up to down cool. one time, man, for real. Man, I'm trying to make some moves next year, so I'll let you know for sure. You know? Yeah, yeah, that's, man, that's that's real dope just to hear. Because honestly, I saw, you know, Superbad last year, and I was like, damn, who is this <laughs> young buck? You know what I'm saying? Like, like yeah. but that's dope because, Man, it's just, you see how, you know, it progresses, right? Like, dang, and he got character, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He, he's original with his own burners and stuff. I was like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> so that that was dope. I was like, dang, he got he got that character. He's a standout, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Um, from, yeah, from the rest. Yeah, yeah, lot, yeah. Lot special, man. But yeah, he's like eight now. He's eight. Can you imagine that? Doing all that at eight. How, how, where is he from? I know he's from New York, but what borough? Uh, he lives in Queens now, but he's originally from Florida. But I think he oh, was what? training. I, I don't know. They don't tell me who he was training with it. You know, everybody's like, oh, I, I learned on YouTube. Or, come on, man. <laughs> <laughs> but no, he, so when I met him, he could flip. He had windmills, some crazy backspin. You know, so he was almost getting a head try. Like, he had some stuff, but, like, now I think this kid is, he's doing stuff I can't do. I just like, all right. I'm just yeah, like, yeah, it's yeah. fun, man, because I'll be like, yo, try this, try that, and he'll do it. I'm just like, 
he was while he's doing it, like, oh, like this, like, mm. yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It basically, kind of natural. It comes natural to form, right? Mm-hmm. But there's other kids, man. This is like uh, this kid, this Quickster. There's um, uh, you got Mad Swag. Like you think he has good character, like Quickster, little. Uh. Um. Yeah, yeah. Like uh, there's like I said, that boy Hex. Yo, there's mad kids, man, that are sick with it. The Infamous has some students that are crazy with it. You know, like um, you remember King Kai? King Kai is dope, but he doesn't do the kids break. He just wants to do battles with adults. Okay. Word, You're a kid, bro. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. That's dope, man. Um, Keep doing it. Um, how about how about the Northeast scene, like, well, New York wise, like, with the not the kids. Oh, but, the kids. You know, oh like the B boys. Yeah, yeah. Just you know, how, how's the I'm scene? Um, like? It's good, man. I, I've I've noticed a lot of people moving in. Right now, there's not a lot of events, but mm-hmm. like people are screaming. You know what I'm saying? So. Um, I know uh, Jin has this studio, Wondrous Studios. They do monthly events, so that they may make, you know they make things yeah. happen. Well, right now, this, it, it, there, there used to be events all the time, um, but I've been so focused with kids stuff, so I don't really know what's going on with the adult stuff. Um, right, right, right. But, um, I, th- I think okay. it's gonna come. <laughs> yeah. yeah, man, it's fun. Yeah, everybody got their little low lane, you know what I'm saying, and and. That's that should be respected. Um, yo, we got like That's five a good minutes. Um, minutes. Yeah, you got you got anything to say? You know, for the new generation, um, and old generation. Oh. <laughs> I'm OGs, I, I love y'all, man. Y'all, re- I respect y'all. Um, you know, I try to keep them around as much as possible. You know, what I'm saying just you know, just cause they just want to be involved. You know, what I'm saying like like freeze. Mm-hmm. You know, you be a, 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 a headache sometimes, but I love him, man. We we make things happen. I always I always try to invite him. You know, he sells gear, so I always try to like get him involved. You know what I'm saying? But um, you know, it's important for the new generation to ask these questions to these, you know these pioneers while they're here. You know, because you know a lot of them, you know, they they're they're not around anymore. So like, just take advantage of them being around. You know, get get that knowledge for real firsthand is important. You know. Um, right, right. And then you know the youngins. Like I tell my students all the time, like, you know, yeah, I'm, I'm helping you, I'm instructing you, but you're like, this culture is yours. Like right now, this mm-hmm. community is yours. Do you guys take the responsibility to take it to the next level? Do you take the responsibility just, just to withhold this culture and keep its integrity and just keep it alive? You know what I'm saying? Like I tell that to my kids every week when I when I train with them. Like y'all ready to represent this culture, not just dynamic, but represent mm-hmm. this. Exactly. This, I'm saying like this, you know, you're not just representing yourself, you're representing people that have, have passed knowledge down from generation to generation just to you, you know, so. Yeah, I'm excited for the new generation, man. Um, and they got a worldwide scale. scale. What? Yeah, on a worldwide scale as well, right? And um, I'm excited, you know, with a lot of things that's going to be opened up, especially with the Olympics and all that. And man, like, the opportunity that's going on now, we didn't get it when we came up. You know what I'm saying? So I was I was thinking about it the other day, like, dang, this I used to go to jams and place first, second, third, and fourth all the time. It's like, dang, I would have been getting paid every time I go to the jam. You know what I'm saying? Like, dang. You remember when Rubble BC One first came out? We were bugging. I was like, whoa. I was, I remember when I first saw I saw Omar One. I was like, yo. I want to be there, and then yeah, I end yeah. up being there. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, exactly. Like so, things like that, we were happy about. Now look what's happening. Exactly. And, and it's gonna, <laughs> it's gonna elevate. I'm telling you, it's gonna be elevate. You know, so we got to teach our kids how to be professional. You know, the business etiquette as well. Once they get to a certain age, right? You got to understand, like, yo, don't, don't be taking, uh, don't, don't let other companies take your advantage and all that. You know what I'm saying? Know your worth and stuff like that. Those. Those are very important um, in those key areas, you know, not just on a breaking tip, but on a professional tip as well, you know. Mm-hmm. And so, man, thank you for for being on. It was great building with you, and we'll we'll build some more, you know. Um, you know, sure. that. so so no, big shout to everybody. Thank you. Yeah, 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 no doubt. Um, big shout to everybody that tuned in. 
Uh, and, and shout out to everybody that's going to be tuning in, you know. Uh, and I'm gonna I'm gonna share this on on YouTube and all that. I gotta I what I used to do is print print screen it and 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 upload it. I'm just doing this all out of love, you know what I'm saying? Just trying to build and get them knowledge and and yeah, man, you know, show your kids like, yo, this conversation. That's your homework. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Let me know what you learn from it. You know, so those are the key things, man. We gotta educate on that level, you know. Instead of just like, yo, you whack. <laughs> <laughs> but yo, thank you, bro. It was good uh, talking to you, man. And we'll build more, bro. All right. Yo, good. The good thing you're doing this, man. For real, man. I appreciate it, man. For no real. doubt, bro. Appreciate it. Peace.